A child can have a variety of behavioral signs um, after they've been abused. With younger children, oftentimes you're looking for detailed and age-inappropriate sexual behaviors. So if they have not been exposed to, a sexual, exposed to a particular type of sexual behavior and they're displaying that, you want to be more concerned because where would they learn that sexual behavior? Now, for instance, if they've seen mom and dad having some intimate relations or they've been exposed to something on TV that had a sexual nature to it or some pornography or something they saw in a magazine, they may imitate that. However, if they've really never had exposure to those kind of sexual matters, then you're going to be more concerned if your child is displaying those types of behaviors. In addition, younger children may also have this fascination with sexual matters and fascination with the genital area. That's going to raise a red flag. Also, they may have sort of behavioral issues of being more clingy, starting to wet the bed at night again, or soiling their underwear. A lot of these different aggressive behaviors just sort of telling you that something's not right and they're, they're just not doing okay. With older children and adolescents, you will often see, again, drastic changes in behaviors. So it's not whether it's a positive behavior or a negative behavior, it's drastic changes. They may, again, be on the negative side where they become more truant, they become more aggressive, they start having poor school performance, they start having difficulties with peer relations, or they may be on what could be perceived as kind of a positive side in that they become more hypervigilant and they want to be the perfect child. They want to become the straight-A student and clean the house and take care of everything because they've been in a situation that they're completely out of control, but now they want to control that environment around them. So sometimes you'll see the negative behaviors, sometimes you'll see the positive behaviors. Also with older children and adolescents, you will sometimes see them taking on more high-risk behaviors, such as you know, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, sexual promiscuity, also self-injurious types of behaviors. They may run away, and then also really the extreme also is they may um, attempt suicide or actually succeed in suicide.